a group of wealthy people, are invited to a dinner on an island and promised the best food of their lives, however, they turn out to be the menu that was to be prepared. Hello and welcome to Vista Recaps. This time we recap the film, The Menu, a 2022 movie. The film begins when Tyler is talking to Margot and convincing her to stop smoking because it is bad for her palate. But Margot is hesitant, claiming that doing so will make her palate happy instead. She does, however, stop smoking. Tyler then tells Margot that dinner that night will be delicious, featuring all of her favorite dishes. The boat arrives just in time, with other notable people on board. Other guests at the dinner include food critic Lillian Bloom, her editor Ted, wealthy regulars Richard and Anne Leigh Brandt, washed-up movie star George, and his personal assistant Felicity, and business partners Soren, Dave, and Bryce. The captain then reminds everyone on board to take their seats so that the journey can begin. To whet the appetite, the guests are served some food. Starters, the journey has finally begun. When they arrive, they are greeted by Elsa. Elsa then inquires about Tyler's companion. Margot approaches her and introduces herself. Elsa, the restaurant Metro Hotel, gives the group a tour of the island, noting that Margot was not Tyler's designated guest for the evening. Elsa takes them on a tour of the island, where they can see the animals and plants that live there. She then takes them to the smoke house, where she reminds them that this is where the meat is stored and that they only use dairy meat. They are then led to the living quarters and shown the beds of the employees. Tyler notices a secluded building on their way to the dinner room and asks Elsa who lives there. Elsa informs him that he and his friends are not permitted to enter chef's home. They then enter the dinner room, which is filled with the aroma of cooking food. After they have taken their seats, Elsa tells them that they are free to observe the cooks as they work, but they must not take photographs. Tyler requested that Murgat accompany her to see something. However, the cook requests that he return to his seat. He is taken aback that the cook knows his name. The chef then arrives, and Tyler is uneasy about how the chef looks at him. The guests are busy conversing when the bell rings, signaling that the first course is ready. Chef Slowick begins dinner by introducing a series of courses, delivering increasingly unsettling monologues about each dish. He begs them not to eat or drink anything they are unfamiliar with. They should be cautious of what goes through their stomachs because their menu is too valuable. They are then served the island, the first course. The chef continues to tell them that what happens inside is less important than what happens outside because the island and its nature are more important than them. Nonetheless, the meal continues, the second course where the chef introduces them to all of their favorite vegetables and their well-balanced oil. He does remind them, however, that they will not be served with bread. The guest finds it amusing, but they enjoy it. As the guests eat, Soren, Dave, and Bryce call Elsa and request that she serve them with some bread, but she refuses. Margot, on the other hand, drops his dish on the floor, which worries the chef. But Margot reminds him that it is none of her concern. The chef claps his hand in that usual disturbance sound and introduces them to the third course, which he calls the memory. He goes on to tell them a taco story about her father beating her mother and him assisting her. For the time being, it's an absurd and ridiculous story. For the third course, laser-printed images on tortillas reveal uncomfortable truths about each guest, ranging from affairs to embezzlement. Each guest's dark secret of bad past deeds is imprinted on his or her food. Some guests are bothered by secret photos of themselves. Soren, in particular, becomes enraged and summons Elsa to explain what the pictures mean. She informs them that these are their embezzlement secrets. Soren is insane and promises to punish them by selling the restaurant since he is co-owner. Margot walks to the restroom after becoming enraged by Tyler's sapping at her. The chef follows her to the restroom and asks her why she didn't enjoy the previous meal. He expresses his dissatisfaction. Elsa informs him that she was not simply hungry. He then asks her name and informs her that she is not supposed to be at the retreat. The chef then introduces the guests to the fourth course, which he refers to as the mess that Jeremy prepared. Instead of complimenting Jeremy on his dish, the chef says Jeremy has never been a good cook and that he will never be a pro like him. He asks Jeremy if he enjoys his life, but Jeremy says no. After that, Jeremy shoots himself in front of the guests, causing a panic. Despite the uproar, the cooks proceed to serve the dish. The chef instructs them to eat and enjoy themselves. One of the senior guests, Richard, becomes enraged and requests to leave. 
but the staff makes it clear that no one may leave by cutting off one of Richard's fingers. It's strange because people are terrified, but Tyler is preoccupied with his meal. Elsa then arrives to inform Margot that the chef would like to see her in the kitchen. He inquires as to her true identity. He reminds her that the dinner was meticulously planned and that she was not supposed to be there. The chef then asks Margot whether she wants to die with the givers, the cooks, or the takers, the guests. He reminds her that everyone will die that night. The guest then begins to plan their escape. However, when Soren tries to break the glass to escape, he discovers that it is impossible and that they are trapped. When the chef notices this, he serves them tea, claiming that it will calm them down. Slowik explains that each guest was invited because they either contributed to him losing his passion for his craft or make a living by exploiting artisans and workers like him and his team. He declares that everyone in the room will be dead by the end of the night. The guest attempts to ask him if he will accept money for their life, but he declines. Slowik's angel investor, to whom Slowik had to give up ownership of the restaurant in order to stay afloat during the COVID-19 pandemic, is then drowned while they watch. Chef Slowik claims that after he drowned and gone, he can now feel peace and calm, and that he is free. He then summoned Margot to the kitchen once more. Margot apologizes for showing up at the restaurant without an invitation. However, the chef informs her that she is now one of them and must die alongside the others. Chef Slowik asks the guest to follow him outside for the fifth course. He asks them to remain silent and assures them that there is nothing to worry about. He then asks sous chef Catherine, who testifies about how the chef once attempted to rape her. She claims that the chef did not fire her and that Slowik is a star. Slowik then let himself be stabbed by the female cook Catherine he had sexually harassed. The chef then offers the male guests the opportunity to leave the island, but they only have 45 seconds to escape after which his cooks will catch them and kill them. Female guests are permitted to return and continue eating. The chef then dispatches the male cooks, who return the male guests who were given the opportunity to flee. They then rejoin their respective teams. Chef Slowik then states that the menu cannot be continued until the unresolved matter is resolved. Tyler is the person in question. Margot is revealed to be an escort, as Slowik reveals that Tyler was invited to the dinner months in advance and that the guests were informed that they would be killed. Despite this, Tyler was so enthralled by Slowik's craft that he kept the secret and hired Margot to replace his ex-girlfriend for the evening because Hawthorne did not accommodate parties of one. The chef humiliates Tyler by making him cook. He instructs Tyler to use whatever ingredients he requires to prepare the food for his fellow guests. Tyler makes a terrible meal and is humiliated in front of others. Chef Slowik insults his food, reminding him that he is the reason their mystery remains unsolved, and then orders Tyler to hang himself. The chef motions for the guest to follow him. He says their last meals would include dessert, but the barrel isn't there, so he asks Margot to go get one. Back in the dining room, Movie star George asks the chef why they are being punished. The chef informs him that he saw his films and did not enjoy them. The movie star tells him that he did not direct the film, but the chef insists that he did not enjoy it and that the memory of his face in the film makes him hate him. Margot sneaks into Slowik's house en route, only to be attacked by a jealous Elsa, who tells Margot that she will not accept Margot's desire to replace her. In self-defense, Margot stabs Elsa in the neck. She then finds a radio, calls for help, and returns to the restaurant with the barrel. A Coast Guard officer arrives from his boat in a few minutes, but after assuring the guests that they have been saved, he reveals himself to be a line cook in disguise and the chef reveals the Coast Guard is one of them. Margot mocks Slowik's dishes and Loveless, cooking while dessert is being prepared, and complains that she is still hungry. Slowik defends himself, claiming that what he is doing is motivated by passion and love. When Chef Slowik asks her what she wants to eat, Margot says a cheeseburger. The chef, moved by her humble request, does so, finding joy in creating the dish. And when she requests to take it to go, he packs the cheeseburger, and the staff let her go. The dessert is an elevated Esmores dish. The staff covers the floor with crushed graham crackers and dresses the guests in marshmallow stoles and chocolate hats. Slowik tells the guests that they must be cleansed in order to be clean, and that he loves them all before setting fire to the restaurant, detonating the barrel and killing the guests, staff, and himself. 
The lucky Margo escapes the island by taking a coast guard boat that is docked nearby. However, in the middle of the ocean, she runs out of fuel and the boat comes to a halt. She unpacks her cheeseburger, takes a bite, and wipes her mouth with a copy of the menu as she watches the building burn from the boat. That concludes the film, and thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and show us some love by liking the video.